Hey everybody, it's Chris back with another review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Uh, tonight I'm is uh, we're still in the midst of triannuary, and I wanted to uh, I, I looked through my refrigerator trying to find something that would be fitting of triannuary. The best I could do is I've never had an Oktoberfest beer in January, so tonight I'm going to be reviewing the Flying Fish Oktoberfish. Uh, it is an Oktoberfest beer. Uh, Oktoberfish celebrates the classic German fest style. European malts and hops combined to produce the beer that's always best for worst. W R W W U R S T. <clears throat> um, you know, I want to say that I've had flying fish before, uh, like maybe at the creek, but um, I don't. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a bottle of of flying fish before. They're uh, they're out of New Jersey, and that's really about all I know about them. Now, this one has a Best Buy date of January 17th of this year. So, uh, you know, obviously I'm, I'm coming in under the wire. Um, it says a 6.0 ABV. And I decided because Oktoberfests are known for uh, that, that extraordinary malt and hop uh, combination, I wanted to use something that was going to be befitting that uh, bouquet. So I'm going to be using my Sam Adams Boston Lager. Um, I'm not sure what they call these glasses, but anyway, the Sam Adams Design Glasses. And uh, as always, I will be using my Pop the Top opener from Taza Designs to open this bad boy. Going to have to go through and look again. I could be wrong about Flying Fish. Maybe I have had it in a bottle, but I really don't. I don't think I have. Um... Okay, so once again, as always, to show you, uh, the cap is looking good. Those crowns are looking good. This could go right back on the bottle, or it could go onto a wall mount. So, before we get, uh, before we pour it, let's see. Yep, I'm getting quite a profile of uh, molten hops from that. That's that's for sure. So, uh, let's let's see how this pours out. I'm going to bring this closer to the camera. It does say it would have uh, sort of a copperish color. And, and let's see, we've got, I'd call that um, medium low carbonation. There's still some carbonation left, but not a whole lot. As you can see, that head is rather thin. Uh, oh. I did do that right, didn't I? Turned it to the, to the nub. Yep, okay. Yeah, I'm getting uh, honey, uh, I'm getting wheat, I'm getting hay, I'm getting um, cloves, <sighs> getting the slightest bit of almond, um, a um, little bit of heather. So uh, yeah, this is this is likely to be. Uh, um, well, hell, why should I talk about it when I could drink it and tell you about it? Okay? Enjoy. Cheers. <clears throat> That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm going to admit, um, I'm not crazy about Oktoberfest beers. The, uh, the flavor fro profile is just a little too, I don't know, um, almost like farm ale for me. Um, uh, but this is, uh, this is actually very good, and it's, um, it's kind of light. I don't know how else to describe it other than saying that it's light, because it's very drinkable. Uh, 6% ABV, obviously we're not talking about a high and heavy, um, beer, but, uh, I'm glad I got, I, I didn't even bother to look at the, um, bottle when I uh, when I when I grabbed this I'm glad I did now because uh, I realized that this was actually 14 or two weeks from uh, today was the best buy date so you know what's funny is all those things that I smelled the honey the almond the um, the wheat I'm not getting a lot of that um, this is more, uh, 
I don't want to go so far as to call this Oktoberfest light, but uh, this is this is not like some of the hardier Oktoberfests. If you're trying to get into Oktoberfests, if you're trying to find the right Oktoberfest for you, Flying Fish is uh, Oktoberfish. This may be the beer for you. Um, because, like I said, I, I've never been a big fan of Oktoberfest beers. Uh, the Box, the the Wisens, um, you got to go some to get me into those beers. And uh, this one's actually pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm liking this. So um, so for Triannuary, I'm glad I, I drank an Oktoberfest this late in the season. And uh, for $1.29, which I'm not sure if I mentioned before or not, but yes, that is what I spent. I spent $1.29 for this 12-ounce bottle at Total Wine. Uh, for $1.29, I don't think you can do uh, better f for an Oktoberfest for those of us who aren't crazy about Oktoberfests. So until next time, drink good beer. Don't break the bank doing it. And cheers.